A very warm welcome to the Pod Promi Arena in Szczecin, in the southeast of Poland, for another evening of sensational club volleyball from the CEV European Champions League. As host club, developers Szczecin go head to head with Turkish super club Ezasubashudinovic Istanbul in the first leg of their quarter final matchup. Well, a little look at some of the players arriving for uh, their first contest earlier today. Especially and now I am a chance to hear from the coaches. I played many great games here against this good opponent. So it's quarterfinals, last five matches until the final, including the final. So our focus needs to be very high. I know that I'm sure that today will be great spectators here, big support for the host team. So we need to push our limits to play good volleyball. One of the best teams in the world, for sure, they are leading uh, in the Turkish league. Uh, so, yeah, they are playing uh, unbelievable volleyball. They are really consistent. So I guess they will be ready for this game against us. Um, so, yeah, they will be really spectacular. We need to accept that sometimes they will make some in unbelievable action. And, well, we try to, to get pretty good side out, uh, to control them with our block and defense and yeah, play your chances. Great to hear from both coaches, Ferhat Akbash with Azaz Sabashu and uh, the legend from French volleyball, Stefan Antiga, who now coaches this Szczecin team here in Poland. Well, it's the first meeting between these two great clubs on the Champions League stage with Azaz Sabashu coming into this match as the marginal favourites after their Group E topping performance in the pool phase of this year's competition. While Shershov have battled hard to make it through the playoffs, beating Valero Lecane to book their place in the last eight. Simon Golding with you for this evening's action. And as always, we've got courtside seats for you right here on Euro Volley TV. Well, the two captains with their uh, toss ahead of this one, Karazina Bogroszka, the uh, Polish opposite and the big opposite for Zazabashu, one of the players that will certainly dictate how this match goes this evening. Tiana Boscovic of Serbia turning in performance after performance for this Turkish club that are now, as you heard from uh, Stefan Antiga, topping the Turkish league right now. Well, it's all on the line here in Poland as both teams to look, look uh, to lay the foundations for victory in the opening leg of this quarter-final tie. As I suppose you coach Ferhat Akbash will be looking for his superstar lineup to bring home the kind of foundation result that sets up the Champions League opportunities and qualification for that final four. That is the goal for both these teams, but preferably he'll want to come away with a result that really gets his team going for the return leg in Istanbul next week. And one of the Champions League leading performers is likely to be crucial to Azazabaj's challenge in this quarter-final. I've mentioned her already, namely captain fantastic Serbian Tiana Boscovic, the boss, as she is affectionately known. Top scoring world champion leads this eclectic mix of players, featuring some current Turkish internationals like Libero Simje Akos and Handi Balanin. But there's real strength in depth in this team. Middles, Jacky Sal and Laura Hellman have been impressive in this season so far. And legendary Serbian player and playmaker Maja Ogijanovic is still loving her volleyball. They're having fun setting to some seriously good attackers, underlining their favourites tag heading into this tie. And for Shishov, well, coach, the former French legend Stefan Antigua will be looking to his experienced group of stars to take the fight to Azai Sabashu. And leading that charge should be the Serbian veteran, 34-year-old Jelena Blagojevic, uh, alongside Polish setup Karazina Veneska. And after that, Antiga has a solid bench of young players that can certainly deliver the likes of Czech opposite Gabriela Ovasova, Georgia's Anna Kalandadze, and Poland's Veronika Swagowska needing to go big tonight. But this uh, Shishov lineup can be fluid, and generally speaking, Coach Antiga will make changes sooner rather than later when he is required to do so. But as you heard from him uh, ahead of this game, trying to make sure his players understand that occasionally this is us, the team will just produce world class brilliance. 
you have to accept that point for point, but it's that overall performance that uh, his team are looking for. And in this half of the draw, Shushoff against there's Azerbaijan Shudinovic Istanbul, and then it's Allianz uh, MTV Stuttgart who go up against uh, the Italian stars of Novara. And across on the other side, Vaki Bank Istanbul take on Verovoli Milano tomorrow night with Fenerbahce Per Istanbul. Another Turkish club taking on another Italian club in Carraro Imoco Corneliano. The Panthers go into action on the 16th. So final part of the warm-up for this match. Just having a look at the uh, two playmakers out there and setting. Ogjanovic is certainly going to be involved by the looks of it. And it, it looks also like uh, Giulio Bincica is maybe going to be starting for uh, Shishov, we'll have to see, but she might be the starting playmaker ahead of Kasia Venoska. Well, they know the challenge ahead. This uh, Shishov team, big smiles from uh, Julia Jurczyk as she's feeding a few balls in and the players going through the, the last of the hitting warm-up. They're, they're also having a good look through the net as well, aren't they? Not... Uh, many of these Shushov players will have come up against uh, the mighty Tiana Boscovic who at the moment I can tell you in Champions League volleyball is averaging 6.17 points per set it's an absolute machine but has not played exclusively in that opposite position Samantha Fabrice of Croatia has also been getting some court time and she's one of the top scorers at the moment in the Champions League there are the Tigers, as I suppose you in their orange and black. With some really strong players. I mean, the likes of Shine Jack Kisal in Trinidad and Tobago middle, 29 years of age now. Alongside uh, the likes of Belgian middle, Laura Hermann. They've been a very good middle unit. But not always guaranteed court time because there are the likes of Arici and uh, of Turkey and Guveli as well another solid player in the number seven shirt that's Handy Baladin expect to see her starting in the opposite position and there is Maya Ogjanovic has her own Serbian teammate on side with her in terms of Boscovic and another teammate on the other side of the net Blagojevic will need to go big she's been scoring well so far as the Olympic bronze medalist from Japan 2020, and that was a, a quick shot of the superstar herself. Boscovic, the boss, two-time European champion, world champion, and Olympic bronze medal. And there's Fabrice, and another player who has uh, really contributed well to Azar Sebastian's performances on the way to this quarter-final. And there in the front of that picture is 47-year-old Stefan Antigua. Played for Skra here in Poland and took them to that Polish title back in 2014. And then having finished his career playing with France, has had time coaching Polish men's and Canadian men's squads. Assisted tonight by Bartolomy Dabrowski. Well, it'll be interesting to see who Antigua decides to start. As I said at the top, it's a fairly fluid group of players. He's not worried about making substitutions as he has done in various matches in the build-up to this. A pretty successful campaign for them. Won five out of eight on their way to this matchup. Whereas Azar dominated in their pool to qualify directly. So, the serves, for those of you that know your volleyball, the last of the warm-up formalities and then we'll be introduced to the two teams and the referees and then we'll find out which group of players our two coaches are going to go with. I find it difficult to believe that Ferhat Akbash is not going to go with uh, his strongest lineup. It's a lineup that performed pretty well in the World Club Championships but just lost out. Semi-final stage, Boscovic there is the captain. And then a whole host of very, very strong players. Ogjanovic, the senior 
player, the most experienced player, 38 years of age, likely to get the start in that playmaking position and still playing some really good volleyball. On the other side of the net, I think I said uh, Bogrovska was the, the captain. My apologies, it's uh, Yelena Blagojevic, 34 years of age now. So two Serbians, two medalists on the highest level of the international stage. Are captaining their sides and looking down that Shishov lineup. Well, plenty of talent to come in and out of that game. Maja Ogenovic then will certainly be one of the players that dictate, dictates exactly how this match runs. She's got a great set of players to be feeding the ball to, and the playmaker runs a really good show. The compatriot on the other side of the net, Yelena Blagijevic, producing the big points at the moment. 89 points scored so far in the Champions League with four aces. She's been the go-to player for developers Sheshuf so far in European volleyball this season, but also playing at home in the Polish League. So players are through their final part of the warm-up. Zosabashu arrived yesterday. They've had a bit of uh, court time in this arena just to try and get used to uh, playing in a different venue. Doesn't matter how brilliant you are as a team, doesn't matter what lineup you've got, it's going to take a little while for the passers, the hitters, the setters to find their range in a new arena and this is a big hall yeah uh, Popromi arena it's a huge venue and it'll feel big down there it'll feel quite different for the Azasabashi players As predicted by uh, coach Ferhat Akbash, his Turkish team are going to have to deal with a partisan crowd here in Chichov. First of all, the Champions League anthem. Always a great moment when the two teams line up on the baseline and stare each other down across the length of this court. Great respect between the two sets of coaches and the two captains who know each other very well. Can Blagijevic lead her team to something special here tonight? Shishov want to have something to take away from this game to what will be a fearsome battle in Istanbul next week. But equally, Zasubashu will be looking to deny the Polish side any kind of route to the final four. Let's meet our referees in Bernard Velanta of Serbia and Andrea Pjeke of Italy will be our two officials. Valentar, the first referee, will just uh, be taking his place on the stand. Andrea Puka looking after things from the floor. And then, as is tradition, we will meet the away side first of all, and we'll find out who Fad Akbash wants to go with on his starting lineup. No surprises. Captain Tiana Boscovic, the boss, will be out on court. That's trouble already for this uh, Sheshov team. Andy Baladen also going to be out on the floor. And uh, number eight, Yasmin Guveli gets the start through the middle. Maya Ogjanovic is going to be the playmaker, the setter. Irina Voronkova, outside hitter, and Sinead Jack Kitsal. So Baladin Voronkova outside through the left side. Guveli and Jack through the middle. Boscovic opposite with Ogjanovic setting. And uh, Simje Akosh is the Libero. And now time 
for the Shishov team to take to the floor. A couple of players need a very big game tonight. Looks like it's going to be Kalandadze through the wing with uh, captain Yelena Blagojevic. Yeah, Blagojevic, Kalandadze through the wing, then Obiawa and Sedka through the middle. Rapash is going to start opposite the American with uh, Venaske starting as setter. But plenty of changes and plenty of options can be available to this team. There is Fad Agbash, 36 years of age now. Former international player turn coach and former international player turn coach on the other side too with Stefan Antigua. Remarkably experienced player and coach at this level. And looking to produce something pretty special this evening with his Shershov team. But to do so, he's got to overcome the Tigers of Izasubachu. And that is a feat that not many teams have managed to accomplish so far in Champions League volleyball. Away we go with the first set of this quarter-final. Izasubachu Dinovit Istanbul in the orange. Get the game underway. In the pink, it's the home side. Developers Shushov. And that's the problem they have to cope with tonight. How do you solve the problem called Tiana Boscovich? And Shishov instantly get an early warning. The pickup is excellent of Sumdiakos. And that huge left-handed hammer down the line puts the first point on the board for the Turkish league leaders. Good blocking as well. They've got nice height. This is Stumble's side, but couldn't quite control that one so bounces up to the net to be put away nicely they've got good height in the middle of Shushov so they'll be looking to exploit that if they can with uh, Obioa and Sedka but it's going to be a big night for the middle players because they're going to do a lot of chasing they're going to have to read where the set Ogjanovic is going to go what is that, Sabashu? And once they've read it, they've got to get there, and, and that's uh, a tough test. Big jump serve of Irina Veronkova. Puts it into play. Nice pass, and very good. Excellent feed. Kashivaneshke goes to her middle. And put on the floor by Veronika Senka. Then it will be to serve. Two serve errors, so some early nerves here from Sheshov, just searching for a bit of rhythm at the baseline. Whereas his Asabashi look pretty relaxed. Yasemin Gavelli, middle blocker along with Sinead Jack Kisal. So Turkey and Trinidad through the middle. Good hands again, wow. Well, decent tip, but it again is recycled well. They've started really strongly. Both teams hammering away. Tight. And a rather unusual finish to the rally. Lagievic gets one over on a Serbian teammate. Terrific pickup from Voronkova. And then Blagojevic and uh, Obiawa just getting those touches and eventually getting it off Boscovic for the point. So they're in there and scrapping. Uh, Shishov. And that'll do nicely. Huge stop. Veneska shifts it across from the line. And Obiawa gets her hands right across here on Baladin's uh, cross court play. That's a lovely piece of form in the air. So Handek stopped. 4-3. Home fans have something to cheer about. Boscovic gets another ripping spike down the line. Well dealt with. And a good reuse as well off the block. Uh, Kagajevic can't find her angle. Sinead Jakisal just closing that one down. Yeah, it was a good set and Blagojevic just acknowledging that. I like to see that from hitters talking to their setters just to let them know a ball was good and it was maybe their error rather than the playmaker. Power tip down the line, nicely done. Good pass as well from 
and Kalandadze, the Georgian international, in the number 27 shirt. Interesting start for Isabella Maria Rapash, Polish-born USA player, who was playing in the right side position. Couldn't get to that plate down the line from Handy. Bit of a mix and match start. Is that actually have come out looking strong, but yes, you're winning their fair share of rallies here in this race to 25. Handy to serve. Nice touch. Pick up from Simji. It's good. Another good feed in though. And that is a swing and a half. What a shot from Kalandadze. 24-year-old in her second season here with Shershov having signed from Woods. Current Georgian national squad player. Lively stuff from the home side. This is a good battle. Nice up. Hands and knees pancake from Blagiovic. And again, well recycled. Oh dear me, what a shot. Well, it was something that came into the game back in the 80s when the Cuban players used to scream as they knew the ball was going to be hit hard and they had nobody in front of them. And uh, Veronkova has done exactly that. Big shout, thumps it on the floor. We're level again. Kisal serves deep on Kalandadze. Good hard swing off the block. Nice feed to the middle, but pretty easily read by Gavelli. Yasmin on her shirt. The number eight uh, shirt, the middle blocker, 23 years of age. Signed in 2019 for Zazabashi. He's out of serve. High pass from Kalandadze. Gets the return ball and finds a beautiful angle. She's cut that very hard inside the block it's a brilliant piece of work well early signs for coach Stefan Antigua of developed res Shershev is good I think he'll be pretty positive about what he's seeing but it's how long you can live with his Asabashu in top gear and they're not far from it Boscovic with an, a third kill of the game it's a big, big left hand down the pipe position. Whoop. Didn't quite connect, but very good save from Kalandadze. Simje shunts it wide to Veronkova. He just works that nicely off the block. Some good stuff here from both teams. Number 16 shirt of Isabella Maria Rapash. 27 years of age now, former Temple University player in Philadelphia she's going to get some good wraps on the ball but she's got a tall block against it it's going to be a tough old afternoon oh wow great great work off the block from Simjic and it's just a matter of time isn't it before Boscovich gets to apply the hammer and there was a few hammers in that rally that one definitely Definitely goes down as Simje Akosh's point. That was a very good save off the block. It's a fine hit through the middle. You can see how high Kalandadze and Senke are trying to jump. Just over jumping there. Timeout called by Antigua. What a privilege, what a privilege here on uh, Eurovolley TV to be able to listen in to the coaches working at this level. Don't expect too much, don't ex expect any uh, magical phrases or necessarily coaching genius. All of that work goes on in the sports hall in the build-up to these games. Coaches very often just talking basic language about the game plan. 
Well, it's a good swing. It's a really nice hit cross court. Another kill for Kalandadze, but those of you that know your volleyball watching this match will understand that Azaz Sebastian's ability to just play at that slightly higher level, just not matched for a fraction of a second or a minute or so by Shushuf, and all of a sudden there's a three-point deficit. Big swing from Voronkova. Nice touch by the block. This time goes out wide to Boscovic. He just manages to shove that down the front of Senka's block. Straight across to have a quick word with Ogjanovic. Right, just had a seam to work with. She's used it well. Fourth kill. Voronkova. Got too much of that one. Well, options-wise, Hande and Veronkova definitely the starting wing spikers for Zasabashu. So they've got off to a decent start, but they are the players that would normally be out there on the field. And uh, Hande putting another cracker away off the fingers. It's good height. That's really good height from the block, but Rampash's fingers just tickled there. By Hande on the way past, so the left side working well for Zasabashu, and then they've always got their get out of jail card, the boss, Boscovic. Good hands, nice reaction from Hande to get to that ball, pokey it back over. Quick mention, incidentally, for Shiwaska, Alexander Shiwaska, the starting Libro for Shoshov, 24 years of age, second season with the club. Oh, that's a big serve. Kalandadze just got caught out by that and that is a whipping spike through the middle. Kisal had to work quite hard to make sure she got there. Jumped, hung and the ball just didn't quite arrive but good body position, good strength in the air to be able to whip that through the seam. And this is a, a healthy lead open by Zasabashu. Better pass. Well, just from Vlagievic. And this is too good. The hot arm at the moment is Kisal. That's Vlagievic has gone to twice in a row. Standing start as well, but she's finding that seam very nicely. Very much a Chinese middle blocker tactic. Find the seam, jump, ball gets fed to you and swing. And that's a nice point swarm. For the Turkish club. Second time out for Shisha. Well, there's no doubt, absolutely no doubt, that the team knew they were going to have a big one this evening and a really tough demand to cope with. And already, the Cheshire fans have been quiet just a little as the realisation sinks in that they are playing European volleyball royalty right now. Tough test ahead. Well, timeout's done its job. Well played, coach. Guveli misses. Yasmin Guveli. Changes. Not surprised to see them. So Rapash and Vinerska come off but it's a it's a flip substitution so they're flipping this uh, rotation around and that means that the setter Binchika will operate from the back line Gabriela Ovosova of the Czech Republic the new opposite on court is in the front line and Kisar gets away with another one that's three sets in a row from Ogjanovic to the middle might not get another one for a little while block is starting to read this she's a good player Majanovic, which sounds like a silly thing to say, doesn't it? Because at this level, everyone's a brilliant player. But there are just some players that have this consistency of performance, and Majanovic is one of those players. Gets used there, though, by uh, Blagojevic. A little bit of net, a little bit of fire, and a little bit of Kisal. Means point, Shesha. 
Oh, it's wrong. Another set through the middle. Not put away, but uh, an unfortunate miss down the line from Kalandadze. That's a shame because uh, Shushuv defended that ball really well. So Sebastia then in control in set number one. We'll be looking if they can to take a 3-0 lead back home. Puts them in the perfect position really to progress to the final four. First hit for Orosova. Not quite going as planned at the moment. Too tight for Orosova to make the play of the Binchikar set. Handy to serve then. She started strong along with Ronkova on the left hand side. That'll do. Kisa read it, just couldn't keep it in court. In fact, it came off uh, Maya Gjenovic. So apologies to Jack Kisa. Obiawa to serve. Brilliant, just brilliant. Three blockers stacked up there on Jackie Sal, and then of course Ogenovic decides no, let's vary that. So a little three and a half ball just over the top of the middle for Veronkova to exploit the seam. Too easy for the Russian to kill that one. All smiles at the moment for his Sebastian. Double substitution reversed. Binchika Ovasova off. Back in comes Rapash and starting setter Kasia Vineska. Out of the base at uh, the back line again. Well patrolled this time on Boscovic. It's good hustle this from Shushov. It's just in. Great defence from Boscovic this time but can't get to that one. Bit of frustration from Maja Ogienovic after this. Cracking piece of defensive work from Kalandadze. Lovely defence from Boscovic. And then a nice swing from Kalandadze through the arms of Maja. She can use that block all night. Maja not the tallest of players. But that was beautifully done. Well, the slide looked pretty obvious, but just watch how fast and flat that feed is. That ball came out very quickly from Meyer's hands. Tight. Again, good save. Little stab dig to get it over, but just off have the point scoring chance. And a complete mix up. Well, sold a dummy there, handy, by a captain, Boscovic. Boscovic moved as if she were going to play it, handy left it. To the boss. And then nobody played it in the end. And that's something that upsets setters, because she was expecting the ball in there. Maja Vienovic. It's not happening, is it, at the moment? for Shushuv. That doesn't mean it won't. It's just at the moment they're struggling for rhythm. No clear side-out pattern. No clear serving pressure being built. That's all belonging to the Turkish side. Good work again. What a stab dig from Boscovic. And what a hammer onto the line or has it caught a piece of the block? She thinks this has definitely hit the block. So we're going to get our first video check of the evening. Two video checks per set. If you win the video check, you obviously win the point and you keep it. If you lose it, you lose it. Simple as that. Now, normally speaking, when a player is challenged for a touch off the block, the blocker will hold their hand up and save everybody the bother of the challenge. <laughs> is that Lagievich? Just acknowledging to the rest of her team that she caught a piece of this.
Well, mixed reaction from the crowd and confusion from the players down on the court. Looking at the big screen. Block touch was the question. And the players, well, Blagijevic, as we saw, knew she maybe touched that. Well, no, she's not so sure now either. They're just uh, asking Stefan Antigua to get clarification from second official Andrea Puker about that decision. But the video referee has ruled a touch off the block. So, there's the hit. And is that a little tickle off the fingernail? Looks to me like that is the minutest of touches on the fingernail of the right hand of Blagijevic. Minuscule. It's funny, isn't it? Because the, uh, the back view of that looked like the finger definitely wiggled as that ball touched it. But the front view see as pronounced a uh, movement but on that on that back view there's quite a, there is a pronounced movement of the finger tight one it's a tight call but it's a, a very good challenge from Fahad Akbash they retain the point they retain the challenge as a Sebastian that is and Shushov answer with anger what a belting hit Monica Sedke one of the jokers in the pack with this set uh, team. She's always got a smile on her face and a comment to be made. She's certainly smiling after that one. She has hammered that ball. Good set from Vineska. Well, they tried to go middle for middle there. Maya has to feed out wide though. Handy can't get enough through that one. Good defense from the home side and a nice clever play. Off the block and away can't teach these things these are things that players acquire over time and Lagojevic at 34 years of age has got just about the the full box of tricks out there good use good point and good little mini comeback here from Shev but terminated by Senka's miss serve changes then for Isaz Sebastiu out comes Yasmin Guveli and in comes Yaprak Ekek. This is purely serving and defence duties for the wing spike of the 21-year-old. Who did previously play in uh, Poland. Good work. Uh, Blagojevic is settling into her rhythm quite nicely here. And Shershev showing some positive signs bit of momentum being built towards the end of this first set they need it certainly giving the crowd something to work with Erkek off Guveli back in and then Yasmin Guveli straight off for Simje Akos the Libro Shank pass from Vronkova and the power tips through the block Blagojevic dragged a long way out of position and that's clever that's really good vision. I like that from Kalandadze, the Georgian. Saw it was available, saw the space and just poked it with a power tip straight through Boscovic. She could have got away with going outside of Boscovic and won the point still. Gap, close to four. That push to serve. It's a good serve. And uh, back to that middle. Fourth kill for Shinei Jack Kisa. Interesting to see Boscovic not been as heavily used as we maybe suspected she would, but the ball in system means Maya Ogienovic can run whatever play she wants, really. Good work. Handy makes the defence. Out of the back line comes Veronka and cuts that beautifully onto the line. Good control. Didn't get panicky on the shot. Knew this was available. Just want to cut in, watch a cut inside the ball. Sends it spiraling on the diagonal to the corner. Great start from Azaz Sebashu. They get it over the line. 25 19. And the Turkish side lead by one set to love.
Well, one of those strange sets where you would say that on balance, as I suppose you were certainly good for the 25-19 victory. But there was enough positives there towards the end of the set from Sheshev to try and come out firing. They're going to need to in set two. Well, thanks for your company here on Eurovolley TV. And full marks to the director. Some quite fantastic shots from the opening set. Plenty of cameras around this game. Giving us a wonderful view of just what the players are doing down there on the floor. And it all helps in terms of the understanding of how pros go about their job. It's a full-time job, remember, and you've got to learn to play. You've got to learn a way of playing so that week in, week out, you can basically do your job. You can earn your money and you can keep the home fans happy. Well, at the moment, they're not that happy. Unfortunately, the Belafres just have been given a, a bit of a lesson in set one. As Asabashi built their lead, kept their lead. And apart from a little mini momentum swing at the back end of set one, it was all down to the Turkish league leaders, the Tigers. Uh, growling here in Cheshire. Well, as I mentioned at the top of the broadcast, first meeting between these two teams in Champions League volleyball, and actually the omens are very good for as I suppose Dinovit Istanbul because. They've only lost once to a Polish team in 14 Champions League matches. That was a 1-3 defeat to Hemik Police back in 2015-16 uh, in the group phase. And that was away in Poland, so completely different squad of players. We're just about good to go then with set two. Rather appropriate for uh, Sinead Jack Kissel. Hit the road, Jack. She certainly hit the court enough in that opening set. Was pounding away through the middle. Looking down on the floor. No changes. Either side of the net. Both coaches will be happy enough with the way their teams have started. But there needs to be just that little bit more attention to detail from Stefan Antigua's side if Shishoff are going to make their way back into this match. Away we go then with set two, developers Shishoff in the pink, the home side are oh, battling away against a very, very good opponent. Is Asabashidinov in Istanbul topping the Turkish league, looking very, very good in the first set of this quarter final. It's going to be a tough day at the office for Blagojevic. She is in your picture, the captain of this Shushov team. And I think I think we've uh, got something here from Fahad Akbar. She's just spotted something on the other side of the net, maybe a player out of rotation. Well, nice feed from Vineska. And a nice put away in the end from uh, Veronica Senka. So, point on the board. And Kalandadze is really impressed, along with Blagojevic, the two of them through the left side of K. 
kept the scoreboard turning. Oh, oh dear, what a pick up from Callan Dadzik. Wow, that was hit very, very hard indeed. Boskovic, when she gets everything through the ball, it goes off like a gunshot. Absolutely cannoned off the late arriving Veronica Senke. Veronkova, big serve, lovely pass. A little bit of a juggle from Yasmin, but she gets it back over the net. Blagojevic, beautiful control in the air. Couldn't find her mark there, so Hande got to run that play and thinks she got the touch off the block down the line. There's a few quizzical faces from Shushov players. Well, on that evidence, again, it was a micro-touch off the tiny pinky finger of Isabella Maria Rapash. No, this is not the start Shushuv needed. Again, Vineska forced into a one-handed set. Senka received the ball and good blockers at this level just know that that ball is going middle. Veronkova putting some serious pressure on here despite some brilliant passing. And even then, Veronkova gets the play on it. Simji carts it back to the net, Ogjanovic sends it over, over pass, there's the value of making your opponents play the ball again they can't make the most of it and that is a terrific little comeback play Kalandadze comes steaming out of that pipe position straight down the middle of the court and full marks to Shushov there, that was a really clever read from uh, the Libro, Shigwovski tight as well overpass from Veronkiva and just like that she shall pull it back so can serve got a bit of movement on it nicely put away by a fellow middle blocking partner in crime Yoa. wow well, it was there. We could all see the angle was open. I make that Boscovich's sixth kill. And that's the value of a player like Boscovich. Opposites who could put the ball away out of system are worth their weight in gold. And if they can do it 20, 25 times in a game, it's probably good enough to win. Nice touch from Veronkova, but falling backwards, couldn't get control of the ball. Obiowa gets the kill off Maneski's set. Nice set, really good. And doing to Jack Kisar what Jack Kisar was doing to them in the first set. Rapash to serve. Well, it's... It's actually a Maya Ogjanovic trait, and, and a lot of teams will pick up on this, but Ogjanovic loves to run the play that has just been run by the opposition. And that is virtually identical, apart from the direction of the hit from Jack Kisa. Had a quiet evening from the service line. It was Boscovic, but Chesov have passed well. Nope, got that all wrong. Well, on their bad days, Serbia just chuck it up high to Boscovic and she does the rest. And it's served them pretty well at the big championships. It's allowed them to get through some very tight situations in matches. No surprise to see Maya going straight back to it. I, I love it. I just love that management of the game by the setter. Maya Genovic goes back to... Boscovic, just make sure absolutely everything's right. That was in the right place for you. You hit it well. That's good work from the 38-year-old. First ball was perfectly hittable. Tough. Oh, dear. That was a complete mix-up. And uh, 
Maya Gernovic knew she touched that, so she was a little worried there about that being called as an extra touch and just decided to go over with the little cute play. So the first touch was not a block, and that was well left. Viola to serve again. Again, that is not great from Veronkova, but that is a brilliant feed from Meyer on the reverse to Jack Kisal. But uh, definite signs here that Irina Veronkova is having a few problems on serve reception. Shershov have spotted it, so they're going after her. And a little touch on the net as well for good measure. Means that the home side pick up the point. Well, that hurts. Obiowa will be really disappointed with herself there. Got themselves back in the mix. Got a couple of errors out of the opposition. Veronkova is feeling the pressure on serve reception and they've missed the opportunity. Jack Kisar the serve for Zasabashi. Good swing. I like that from Senka, and it, this is a good lesson for younger middle players. That is not a bad spot to hit, because very often the player on that right side will be up quite shallow, quite tight, if it's the penetrating setter. Got real options there to hit position one. Yeah, good. Really good swing. It's taken Rapash a bit of time to get into this match, but she's finding some angles now. Finding some blockers hands. Good set from Venerska. Oh, this is hurting. This is really hurting. The home side now. Too many service errors. It's just not allowing them to build any pressure and it's putting all the pressure back onto them because they have to keep siding out against a tall block. Block that just got taller with Boscovic coming to front court, but that's not a problem for Kalendadze. I like that. Great hit from her. She's having a very good game. Lovely swing. Really good arm action. Knew she had one blocker to beat. And beat Boscovic easily and that takes her back to the line. Nice serve. Brilliant blocking. Coming back, and it's four touches, says the ref. Yasmin trying to smile that off, but that's a good shutdown from Senka. Kaladadze with the serve, two point lead. And for the first time in this game, Shashova asking some questions here of the Turkish side. Good response, though, from Veronkova. Cuts that off of Blagojevic's hands. And now she can try and do some damage again. This rotation was good for the Tigers last time round. Veronkova, very sluggish defence from her. Pinged it back to the net, didn't bounce cleanly. Blagojevic gets herself another point, gets her team another point. From the old power tip. <laughs> we used to call that a throw in the 80s. Mind you, it was allowed in the 80s as well, so we've come full circle. Yeah, good defence, good work from Shish. And that's a clever decision from Brapash to tip. It's gotten the point. Despite the defence of Sindhi Akos. First bit of pressure then on Fairhat Akbash and his team. And they've decided to call a timeout. This is uh, much better from the home side. We still touch the ball as defence. We always defend the ball, but second touch is not good. So make sure that second touch you communicate good. Yasemin, yeah, keep on our side. Be a good attack and then manage the ball. Okay. So second thing, when they have transition, they always give a three people like Ravis. Okay. Third, we can get better. Either we, we need to get better. 
Smiles are back for the Cheshire players. But uh, a few looks of frustration and a little concern from Mazasabashu. They've lost their rhythm here. They've got to go again. It'll be Senka to serve. Three-point lead for the team in pink, the home side. Developers Sheshov, and they are giving it absolutely everything out there. Well, Moskovic gets a big heavy hand on that one to go over the top of her Serbian compatriot, Blagojevic, but that was nearly defended. Yasmin to serve. Yeah, nice pick up from Voronkova. Kept it the right side of the net, just like the coach asked. Sivoska with the defence. It has to be transported over as a freebie. Boscovic comes in hard from her wing. Just ran out of court there. Well, seven kills from her, but she's also had a couple of missed shots. So, in terms of credit in the bank, not quite where she want to be at the moment. Nice. Really nice tempo. I like that. You had two players there. The middle player, Jack Kisar, running quick. But look at the tempo. She's not that much faster than the player who eventually takes off and hits the ball. That's a really good attack. Very, very difficult for middle players to work that out. And even if you make the right decision, moving to the ball is tough. Legajevic is doing... Uh, a good out of system job for a team right now, the skipper. Another good kill off another compatriot, Maya. Short serve, easily read by Veronkova. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. Maya goes over on two and Sheshov all over it, and then Rapash misses. Frustrating again. Sheshov are creating opportunities and lots of them. Well, they're going to have a look at this. Coach is going to go to video check here. Stefan Antigua thinks he has spotted something, and I would imagine it's blocked touch. Bit of Henry Mancini and the Pink Panther to accompany particular video challenge and there we go very knowledgeable fan in the crowd just behind and he says it's a touch I think the referees agree video check official says it's off the little pinky of handy so just a bit too handy then useful point that's got the crowd going four point lead Rapash gets it through the block, but they get another swing on it. Oh, that's good defence. Big heavy hit from Boscovic, well played. Going to get another swing. Whoa! Bounces it off, Kalandadze. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a rally. That is superb. And Cheshev pick up a really important point there and a massive lead in set two. Well, good chase from Blagijevic, but it was the touch off the block from Kalandadze that slowed it down, and then a very clever tip. She knew it was Boscovic defending. I thought she'd test the tall Serbian. And all of a sudden, the Tigers, who were in control for the first set, can't buy a point for love nor money. It's all happening here. And Sheshuv on their way, surely, to winning the second set. This is brilliant from the home side. It's taken a little bit of time to get going, but what was missing from the Shershev game was the fact that they were not converting their opportunities. Well, they're converting them now. And Kalandadze is having a vital role in that second time out for Isaac Sebastian.
It's a very, very dangerous thing to get too happy about winning a first set at this level. Away from home, in front of a fiercely supportive crowd. And against a team who've got nothing to lose, developers just should have done very well to get through to the last day. They can just play, and they are finally playing, and it's causing its us to budge you some real problems here. OK, let's go back to plan A. Give it to the boss. And the boss, in turn, gives it to their opponents. Big shot. But not a problem. Not a problem for Shershov because, seriously, they can win it. This set from here, they've just got to keep that side out ticking over. And every time they do, they take another step closer to 25. They are a team that can cause problems. Shershov, and they are causing problems right now for the game favourites as Azzebashi. Well, they're targeting Voronkova. She's passing a little better now. Boscovic has decided to step up and take on the mantle, but it's not the side out that's the problem for Azzebashi. They've somehow got a score on their own serve and they've got to score quite a lot of points. Yapraka Kek is in for Sinead Jakisa. Again, as we saw in set number one, this is purely about serve and defence for the wing spiker. Bench gets it into play. It's a cracking serve and an ace. Tell you what, if that's your only job for the evening and you do that, the coach will be delighted. Brilliant. Got some nice movement and got it to swing into the seam between Blagievich and Kalandadze. It's not a great response from the other players either. Four point lead. It's still perfect. It's still good for Zhezhov. They still must be able to close it out from here or should be able to but no there's us Sebastian you've got other ideas not the tallest block in the world Maja Ogjanovic but effective and the 38 year old gets good hands on that and Kalandadze has been stopped three point lead suddenly the game feels different suddenly the set feels different as us Sebastian have still got enough points to effect a big comeback here and that's exactly what Sheshev needed. Nice set. Lovely moment of stillness there from Vinerska before she released the ball and got it in and out very quickly to Senka. So Erkek and Jack Kisal change positions, but then Jack Kisal leaves the court for Sinjakos. <laughs> big shot from Veronkova, big defence from Blagojevic. They're going to have to go again. They do go again. Very deep hit from Boscovic. She is piling the pressure on now. Something like nine kills for the game. Good height, good reach, good depth, and of course, good power. Oh, wow. Well, they've got to be careful here. Shershev just can't hit with abandon. There's still a technical element to this. There was a, a line open. There was a seam open. Rapash tried to find the line. But quite a late movement there from Ferrankova in the air was good enough. And now Stefan Antigua's team are under pressure. Timeout to Shershev. Let's go, girl. Now, front to the blue line. Okay, the blue line, don't shift. Yeah, exactly. 
Rapash, Antigua saying there to Rapash, they are trying to block a line, but they're, they're not completely out on the antenna on the post. They're, they're leaving a they're leaving a bit of space for her to work with. She's already shown some accuracy with hitting off the block. See, that's a line block. And a very good one from Maya Ogjanovic on Kalandadze. Trouble here for the home side. It's just got worse. Vanerske with that ball to Senka again. Senka just only clipping the ball and not able to send it over and uh, not smiling anymore, the middle player. Oh, this is this is tough for the home fans and for the home team. They had a commanding lead in this second set. And then just like that, Zasavashu have put on the afterburners. Unusual. Maya missing when her team needed that to go in. But she'll get that out of her head and go straight back to the day job. Side out. They've got Boscovich out there on the left side. So Shershuk will be waiting their block. They'll be thinking Boscovich is going to get the ball here. Callum Dadze to serve. Oh, it's a cracking serve and it's just wide. And he's really unlucky. I hope Sy could have done with an ace there. Let's see by how far she missed. Whew. 20 centimetres. She had Veronka beaten. Good block again. Tight. Oh, clever. Really clever. <laughs> Vanessa. Backcourt setter. Couldn't play that ball. But she faked it out beautifully. So Senka off. On comes Binchika. This is again is about serve and defence. It's the backup setter Binchika in. Can she make a touch? Two point lead still for Shershov. They can still win this set. Boscovich has whipped that away to the line. I don't know if you saw the reaction of the Shershov players. Just watch it on the slow-mo. This was hit so high, so hard and so deep. All of them thought it was out. It's well in. Beautiful piece of volleyball. Vinchika leaves the court. Senka back in. She then disappears. And on comes Shigwoska, the Libro. Sahin is in to serve. So substitution for Zazabashu. Little tickler across the net. Oh, it's good. That's good. Great decision there from the American. Rapash has been in Poland since 2018. Since her university playing career finished. Made the most of that one. Substitute beaten, so Celia Sain will be off again. And Rysov maintain the chance. Good blocking, there we go. Well, it was all despondency from the home crowd and the home team, but they have bounced back beautifully and Vanesca's got herself a block. And she stopped handed. She's not the tallest player in the world at 1m80. Polish setter, but she's got a nice piece of that. Three set points for an unlikely one set all scoreline. What a set, what a set to choose on set point down. Gutsy stuff from Maya to Jack Kisar. Two points on it, Boscovich at the line. They're going to attack Maya, Maya gets the block. They go again, Boscovich gets the pick up. It's just out. And Shoshov have the set they were after and they can begin to build from here 25 22 they take the second set Blagojevic with a clever play and the home side level the score at one set apiece 25 19 25 22 something tells me there could be quite a lot to play for now in this match this is looking very good for Shershov Well, nice work from the home side 
and especially when their six point lead vanished that was a really good bounce back response and Izasabashu in the end didn't have anything so they're going to have to watch themselves drop below that top gear of play that we saw in set one they're going to have to find a way back to that otherwise the home side are in with a shot here of taking a very useful scoreline to the second leg next week in Istanbul Well, for the moment, this has turned into a finally balanced match. Let's hear from the coaches. The defense made a lot of difference. Uh, how do you describe what happened during this set? Yes, yeah, so we played. We played very good this set. <coughs> we put a bit more pressure with our serve. You, we defended a lot. You're right. And also, our offense were more efficient. So uh, that's why we could win this set. We had to, to keep working on that. And, um, and yeah, so uh, that's... That's perfect. I really like the behavior from our girls. So we are into the game, ready to fight further. Thank you, Thank you so much. Dobra. Well, that was Stefan Antigua's view. We'll be delighted that his Shushuk team have managed to power their way back into this match and they can build from there. And momentarily, we'll be hearing from Ferhat Akbash, the Zaz Sebastian coach, on his views about his team letting the opponents back into the game. As your sign language. We saw that many things happened during this time with your uh, team. Uh, what advice do, did you uh, give your uh, players to come back to the game which we saw during the first set? So far we have two different sets. First set we were dominating the game but second set especially second touch was that after defense we couldn't use the, in, in a good way. The opponent always tip pushes the game they play kind of uh, balls that to make block defense mostly, and we are not good about this. So our pass rhythm is good, our attack person is good, but easy mistakes makes us play 1-1. One -one. We need to push. Brilliant addition here at the uh, CV Champions League on Euro Volley TV. Talking to the coaches between sets two and three. Took the coaches a little while to get used to it. But now they're used to it. They've really uh, entered into the spirit of things and, and discussed very openly how things have gone. And I thought that was a, a very good assessment from Coach Agbash of exactly what has happened. Two different sets. They came out top in one, but in the other, with that little change up in playing rhythm from Sheshev, they stopped making mistakes. They started getting serves in. And suddenly it was a very, very different game. So. Is that Sebastian you have to respond here? Shushu. Well, they'll probably keep doing something very similar. You know, when it's winning your sets don't change. But the problem will be for them if it's that Sebastian of Istanbul. Just up the tempo, read what's going on, start to control the ball a bit better, then Shushu are gonna need a little bit more to put this away. As always, the top pros in the world will continue to discuss the way forward. It 
it's an organic thing, a game of volleyball. It isn't just one plan, go out, play it, win. It, it's a series of plans that have to be judged and executed at the appropriate times. And when you get the hang of your opponents, when you start to understand what your opponents are doing, the best teams in the world learn, adapt, execute. You'll see it from Caneliano, you'll see it from Vakif Bank. They are ruthless once they get into a match. Fascinating stuff, this really is. This is, from a neutral point of view, this has turned into a cracking game. If you're supporting uh, one or other of the clubs, though, I suspect you're feeling the pressure right now. We're good to go again. Sebastian Dinovic, Istanbul setter, Maya Ogienovic gets the ball into play to start the second set, a uh, third set, sorry, it's the perfect start. What a response from Developres Sheshev. And in particular, from Veronica Senko, who missed a ball towards the back end of the second set to make things a bit nervy, but she's pummeled that one. Well constructed, Boscovic knew the block was... Nicely lined up. So very deliberately took that off the outside hand of Rapash. Good attempt from Vinowski to keep that in play, not quite. Well, as Asabashu took the first set, then got off to a really good start in the second set, and it looked like they were going to run away with the match, but the response from Chesha was just so impressive. And one of the players of the night so far, Anne Kalandadze, with that kill off a terrific set from Vineska under pressure. Kalandadze to serve. Veronica has been the target in general. This time they hit Simje, the Libro. Good swing from Hande. And that's not quite on the money. Rapash trying for another tip. You can see the change-ups that this uh, Sheshev team have made in terms of their offence. They're, they're no longer trying to beat the defenders over the top and around the block. They're, they're trying to manoeuvre the ball off the block, tip it short, mix it up. Try and catch out those tall Azasabashi players. Nice dipping serve, well passed by Blagievich. Jack Kisal sets it to Boscovich. Boscovich decides now is not the time to miss one. And tips it fairly deep. I think it was because three players could have played it. Yeah, that's what made it rather static in defence. It was one of those moments where you were expecting somebody else to play it. Nobody really did. Yasemin Deser, she's had a good game as well. That's brilliant. Jack Kisal with the shutdown. I was going to say about Yasemin, any time you can keep uh, the Belgian international Laura Herrmann on the bench, you've, you've had a good game. Terrific stop. Jack Kisal making her ground. And that's a, a good line on the block from Hande as well. Just to keep the taller middle in the game. Hit wide. Another striking blow from Senke. But she's overdone it. Stefan Antigua knows that the flow of the game will be back and forth. He knows that Zasabashi will probably recover their composure in set three. And I think he'll be feeling that their best chance may come in set four and possibly if they can get it to set five. Good replay. Voronkovic gets it into the setter tight. And the feed out wide was fast. The tempo was good. But Hande is just let that drift over the sideline. She's trying to hit the ball extremely hard, is Hande. She's been hitting it down into the block. And then when she has had some space, she's missed a few.
good comeback set. Told you, Maya Ogienovic has a couple of traits that you'll notice during the course of a game. She will go back to the hitter that's just made the error and she'll make a set that the opponents have just made. So it's, it's all well and good pretending you can read it, but actually reading it and doing something about it is another story. It's not so good from Boscovic. She's gone a little bit quiet. Rapach to serve. That's the problem again that Sheshuf has, ha has had during the course of this game. Rapach, the latest defender from the service line. Turkish international then, Handi Baladin to serve. 25 years of age now, former Galatasaray player. Good work off the block. That was not an easy ball to save, and that wasn't an easy ball to touch. Not a lot going right about either attack at the moment, and somehow Shishov have got another go at this. And Blagojevic <laughs> finally gets a ball she can hit. And of course, odds on are that she's going to kill it. Well, knew she had Maya to go after. Maya tried to take her hands away. But too late. She's still smiling about that one. Good pass from Veronica Jack Kisal being forced to extend there. That set from Maya was a long way out wide. good really good again Veronkova making a nice adjustment to step in and Obiowa again disappointed that she couldn't make the play four point lead for Izar Sebastian they've raced away again good shot well I think she's been one of the hitters tonight as Kalandad's it that performance on the left side has been superb Again, reaching high, fixing the angle, and then just cutting inside that ball to send it away from the block and to, down to the floor. Short serve from Obiola. Veronka were under pressure. Boscovic out of the back line, sorts it out. Well, that's just about as out of system as you can be. Bump set from Mai was unbelievable. Yes, they're passing really well at the moment. Lagijevic has got that ball into the setter pretty consistently. Not sure as Asabashi should be sticking on her, but Kalandadze has passed really well. So she's not really an option. Shigwoska, the Libro, has been pretty good with her ball control. Yeah, nice use. Good reuse from Boscovic. Ronkova goes hard off the hands. This time, Kalandadze can't control her. Yeah, she's getting pretty fiery down there. Good response from Irina Veronkova. Quite a, a vocal player within this is Asabashi lineup. First season here at the Turkish club, signed from Lokomotiv Kaliningrad. Russian Olympian. Oh, that didn't work. Trying to run that fast tempo the second time it does work. Maya celebrates accordingly. But what was good about that was the fact that Hande ran that tempo twice. There's a few hitters I can think of would have stopped after the first one didn't go right. Well, she just ran exactly the same thing again and got the ball on a plate to work that off Ravhach's arms. Timeout Antigua.
Well, they might have to play the long game here, Shushov, because I don't think it's necessarily a problem if they go down pretty easily in set three. They've got that set in the bank, and if they can try and find a way into set four when maybe as us of us who are hoping that the game's going to be over quickly that's when they can really force the issue and if they get the lead and take it to five well who knows and then that keeps this tie really open Rapac off the hands controlled by Maya Simje bumps it wide again out of system hit it's weird isn't it Boscovich on those bump passes doesn't seem to miss. Got herself in position nicely. Sinje with a solid ball. Just gave it enough peak for Boscovich to be able to step onto it. <laughs> it's a tough evening this for Eza Subashi. This is this is not done and dusted this game. They've got work to do. Well, Veronkov has been good from the service line tonight, but not on that occasion. Five-point lead then for the visitors. Kalandadze to serve. In system, lovely set. Boscovic doesn't put it away. Makes up for it, though, with the block. <laughs> yeah, he's just having a... A slightly protracted discussion there with Maya. And I think the, the senior Serbian making her point that she wasn't too happy that first ball wasn't put away. Moskovic, the captain, responds. So, change up. Jakiet comes in. Seen this in all the sets so far. Serve and then play defence. She's had one ace. She's going to get a piece of this as well. Bumps it high and tight. What a play. Oh, that is superb. Very good from the substitute and equally brilliant on yet another bump set from Boscovich. She seems to live for these. That is nailed right into the corner. Too easy at the moment. In set three, this is very similar to set one for the Tigers. Yeah, good. Really good reach over. Once they knew where the ball was going, Boscovich and Jack Kisar set that block really nicely. I think Stefan Antigua is going to call another timeout. He is. Second timeout called by the home side coach. A good block from Jack Kisar. <laughs> and the reaction tells you all you need to know. Me like. And again, Stefan Antigua's trying to show up past the way to the court, but it's a really tall block. And Hande gets up high, reaches high, and then the angle is shut down by Jack Kisar. Two blocks in a row by the Trinidad International. Good pass. Yeah, it's good work. This is the problem that Isar Sebastian have had. They're not sure who the service target should be. Shigwowski with a, a beautiful pass into Vanerska. Vanerska nearly lost the ball there, but just about got to it, pumped it to Senka again, Yasemin, Guveli back on and then immediately that substitution changes so Simje can replace the middle, out of system once more and once more the tip into a group of players all of whom could have defended it, none of them did, frustrating point for Sheshov this one,
trick. It's, it's a problem when you're moving when the ball is being played. It's it's very tough to recover your position. Kodjevic got a piece of Maya there. I think she got the touch. The touch owned up to, so no challenge required. Changes. Rapaci is off, and in comes Ovasova. So new opposite is on. She's come on for Vinowska, and it's a new setter on as well. Benchika comes on for uh, a none too happy looking Isabella Maria Rapac. Oh, good reaction. Well, that's good again. Not coming back though. So, Cheshire picking up another point. The more they can do, the more momentum they can take into set four, the more questions they might be able to ask. Kalandadze continues to impress. Lovely shot inside to out. <laughs> and Andy takes a trip into the crowd. Oh, good swing, good pick up. Shigowska with a beautiful piece of defence. Blagijevic doing a static start quick ball, but doesn't work this time, and Hande puts it away. It's another bump set out of system kill. Wing spikers are feeding off these and feasting on them, to be honest. Sebastian scoring points pretty much at will. Chica, new setter on, comes in, feeds the middle nicely. Oh, surely can't come back. Good try, good try, but he's never going to make it in between the posts. Veronkova is blocked. I think uh, Orosova managed to get that to hit Veronkova on the way. So it was going out, but it caught a piece of the Russian. Yeah, good block from the Czech international, straight off the top of her shoulder. Tried to style it out, but reps having nothing to do with it. Ooh, just long, and you saw the reaction from Simji, just heaving a sigh of relief. Uh, Blagojevic's miss. And again, that spectre of serve errors raises its ugly head for Stefan Antigua's team. Good defence. Boscovic on it. Out of the back line comes Handy. Nicely done. Peppering the corners at the moment, the wing spikers for his Asabai shoot, causing just shuffle sorts of problems. And if you're hitting high and hitting hard, you're going to bring the block touches into play. Very comfortable again. And the fight back, the hit back, the bounce back from the visitors as Asabashu has been clinical. So Sheshev just have to ask enough questions at the back end of set three and then this game is still set up for a potential five set showdown. I'll be over to serve. They're not going to get anything from this set, the home side, but they need to get something to take into the next set. That'll do. Yasemin puts it away. I was just looking around actually now that talked about Laura Herman just earlier I, I think I've seen her on the sideline with the, the stats guys doing some work so maybe not available tonight for this one nope too good Kalandadze's luck running out getting some terrific height off the floor Kalandadze this evening and swinging hard but every so often the block is just so organised and so high Boscovic next to Yasmin. Oh, 
Meyer to serve, 23-14 is a good scoreline for the Turkish side. In off the wing. Oliver Sober is not getting much more success past that tall block than Rapaj. So we may see Rapaj start set four. In fact, we might see a come on at the end of this one. Yeah. So that double substitution is reversed. Back on comes Vinerska. Back on comes Rapaj on the right side. Pass from Hande. No. Smacked well wide by Yasmin. Again, trying to smile it off, but does so without making eye contact with that coach. Fairhat Akbash was no, not too impressed with that. Lovely pass again, and this time makes it count. And Myers played a little trick again. Players made the error. Give him a chance to make up for the error. Lovely set. Free net. Free net for Yasmin. And pretty much a free set for Azar Sebastian. This has been handed over rather too easily by the home side. Plenty of set points. Veronkova puts the ball in. And Kalandadze puts it straight into the middle of the block. 25-16. That is a very impressive comeback. Free player block straight down as Asabashu lead Shershev by two sets to one 25-16 rather too easy for the visitors in set three well again from a neutral point of view that was disappointing just looked like the match had caught fire there Shashiv just couldn't apply enough finishing touches or enough service pressure. And his Asabashu absolutely flew away with that one. Well, Dola Brez, uh, Shashuf were knocked out uh, in the quarterfinals last year by another Turkish club, Vakif Bank Istanbul, who eventually went on to win the title. But to get past Shashuf, they had to produce a very good performance in the second leg. Terrific volleyball in that match. Zasabashu at the moment in control, but that should remind the of players that there is something still to play for in this match and it can get very very shaky in set four for the away team if they're leading and looking like they're going to close it out 3-1 but the home side starts fighting that will put some doubt in the minds of the players for the Turkish club and if they can get there Shoshuf then maybe just maybe there's a chance in this match Coach Fahad Akbaj, though, will be determined on his players' behalf that they get this over the line 3-1. That sets up the tie next week in Istanbul very nicely. Stuttgart and Navarra play. Vakif Bank and Milano play. Last eight has turned up some absolutely rip-snorting ties. So, there we go. 25-19, then 22-25 in set two. Home side bounce back, but 25-16. Is our Sebastian Istanbul slapping the home side down big time for a 2-1 lead. Well, if Shershuf 
want to shake their opponents all night long, they're going to have to work hard in this fourth set to drag it back. I think it's their serve. I'm, I'm sure it's the home side serve, despite Maja Ogienovic standing at the other end with the ball. Tigers of Azar Subashu, the Turkish league leaders in the orange and black, lead their hosts in the pink. Developres Shershuf by two sets to one in this race to three, but it ain't over yet. And that overpass for Maya Ogienovic was just a bit too big to handle. Called for a double. Yeah, you can't do that. Chuck it backwards. Great defence. Shibovska makes the play. Somehow, as Asabash, you still have it under control. And that's a wild hit straight into the block of Senke. And uh, Voronkov has got to be a little more careful than that. But in fact, it wasn't. It was into the new player on court. Gabriela Ovasova of the Czech Republic. He's going to start set four. Ahead of the previous outside hitter, he was playing right side, the American Isabella Maria Rapac. So one change down there on the court. Boscovic just, just gets it off Senka and out. But this is a better start for Shashuf. Just got to live with his Asabashu in the early phases and that won't help. And the player that's been so good for Shashuf tonight Kalandadze just rolls it into the block straight down off Boscovic. Well, that's, that's good to see. It doesn't matter how many big games these players have played in. They just, they just burn with this ambition to win. They are so competitive. Another good slowdown block. Maya plays it. Simje's going to go high on the reverse to Voronkova. It's a good decision. I like that from the uh, Turkish Libro. Shishov pretty much loaded for that out-of-system ball to go to Boscovic, and that's a fine reverse set, which meant Senka was late to the play. Gave Veronkova a seam this time to work with, and she's worked it well. Mined it well. Is that out? Well, the call was out from the Azar Sabashi players, but Orvastova has put it in. Or has she? Yeah, that's fine. It's a long way. Kalandadze then to serve the Georgian international. Oh, it's a cracker. What an ace. And this is the pressure that Shoshev have to put on that man and his team. And Ferhat Akbash will know what the script very often says from here. Home side comeback. Nasty fifth set to play. And listen to this crowd now. Good dig. Wow. Well, that one was coming back over. That's a, a keen bit of middle blocking from Yasemin. What a treat in the end. Well, as I suppose you know that they're going to get some resistance in this set. This is what they're going to try and overcome. That's a good serve. It's a nice block as well. Great recycle from Senka. Simje shoves it on the reverse, but Hande can't get a swing on it. Orofasova can and chooses to go off pace. And she's now having more luck than Rapaj was having on the right side. So this substitution at the moment looks good. Lovely organised block, but very well avoided by all the server. And again, it's a killer. 
serve miss from Senka, not for the first time this evening when her team's really needed that ball to go in. Home side, home team, home crowd desperately want this match to go the distance. They've got a lot of work to get it there. Oliver Sova's missed. That's not what they needed either. They have to have, they have to have some side out rhythm here. The home side. Otherwise, as Asabashi were just going to power through. Yasemin Guveli with the serve. Her rotation when she's been serving has, has gone really well, actually, for the Turkish club. We've got another chance to score here, and that was a little impetuous from Boscovic. Never really got balanced, and Obiowa did well to react to that. That's, that's really good middle blocking. Doesn't always have to be the straight down block, doesn't always have to look unbelievably powerful, just has to be there. And uh, Shishop handing another chance, handed another chance here to apply the pressure. Long way from home, the Turkish club in front of the partisan home fans. This will be tricky if they're not careful in set four. Good dig. <laughs> Line of three players waiting for that cannon from Boscovic. What a touch from Shigwavska. Veronkova on it. Boscovic goes again and it's hit the antenna. It's a small lead, but it's a lead that Shishov can work with. Oh dear. And uh, Ferhat Akbash will be a little concerned at the moment. Enough to call a timeout. Oh, the crowd loving it. They'll have watched enough volleyball matches in this hall to understand how things could play out from here. This is a golden opportunity to really disturb the rhythm of this Azasabashi team. And if they can, five sets is on the cards here. Good tip. Good awareness from Handy. She's coming in very fast and she's coming in really steep. So if the ball's not quite there to step onto, she has to manufacture a shot. That's the, you know, that's one of the trade-offs for the tempo that is our Sebastian were playing at on the left side. She's done it well. And that's out. Again, the, the Shishov player is just not giving enough attention to detail. That's a ball that has to go in. And it's a, it's a cheap point given away by Obiawa. That's, that's not being overly critical. She'll know that. Fortunately for them, Boscovic in a charitable mood, which is unlike her. Beautiful. It was a pass on the edge from Veronkova, but she got it to her set and the uh, the feed from Maya to Jack Kisal was just glorious. Watch the extension through that and then the extension on the play. And Jack Kisal could have gone anywhere there. In the end, got it through the uprights of Kalandadze's hands. But the crowd are in full voice right now. Trying to get their team through this tricky period in set four. It's picked up. Oh, that's just tremendous unbelievable from Simje and then still gets off the floor and feeds Boscovic 
And that's one of the points that Stefan Antigua was talking about. You just have to accept that the good teams can play like this. Brilliant pickup, and look at that from Simje. Off the floor, makes the set, and Boscovic does what she does oh so well. So Sebastian, you've got to spring in their step after that point. And there's silence. That's more like it. That's a very good kill. Ovrashova from the back line. Opposites now don't run that 10 ball anymore because of the slide from the middles. They run that pipe when they can on that rotation. Ace. Belter. Who called out? Goodness me. At last, there we are. Has something to smile about. That line shot missed is forgotten. Dear me, that is a ball's width in. Good recovery again, and listen to this. The uh, the crowd now right behind their team. This is getting noisy. It's going to be noisy enough in Istanbul next week. When is that Sebastian you entertain their hosts tonight for the second leg of this match? Will we be going there with a 3-1 win for the Tigers? Or will it be another result? Anything can happen in that fifth. Jack Kisar is off. Yet again. In comes Erkek to serve and defence. Oh, nearly. Just got a bit handcuffed on that one. Good enough uh, swing from Senko. Don't think the ball was quite high enough. No, it was just under her armpit, but she's fashioned a shot nicely there. That's how high these players jump. The ball was on her shoulder and she was still above the net. Very impressive. Yeah, good call. Really good call to uh, attract the attention from Yasmin as she came through in that middle shot and then it was a double bluff. My like that set. 12 all. That's Sebastian going again. They're enjoying this contest, the uh, Tigers. Good chase, good set, beautiful hands. That's why these players get paid the big money. That is some play. That ball was right on the net tape. Myers fired it out to Veronkova, who's managed to hit one of the Russian players here. She managed to hit square off the noggin of Kalandadze. Chance for Kalandadze to get revenge. No, Odovasova gets the set and pumps it off the block and out. She's made a real difference since coming on and at the moment Zeshuf are living with Azazabashu on the side outs they've coughed up their two point lead but they're living with them at the moment how much longer can they stay in this set the longer they do the deeper they take it the more chance they're going to have yeah good work good awareness from Yasmin Apologies if you're hearing a mobile phone signal at all on the audio. I'm sure it's not coming from me. Yeah, good awareness again. That's the right ball to play. It's not the right set from Maya though. It's in play still. And Veronkova gets good hands on it. As that Sebastian might get out of jail here. And they do, of course. By the woman who so often has the key to the door. Tiana Boscovic makes the play <laughs> she lives she lives to be under pressure well into double figures now and Ferhat Abash gets himself on the court to enjoy the celebration with his team he thinks that might be the breakthrough point they've had a couple now in this set Voronkova with the serve it's a good serve nicely fed to Ovrasova oh that's a terrific pick up from the Russian she's hustling in defence now handy straight into the block Boscovic into the block as well. Boscovic gets another swing. This one's out of system. Oh, no, not put down this time. It's played on. It's played on. Yasmin thought she'd lost the point for her team, and it's still going. Crazy. 
absolutely crazy. Oh, what a touch. Meyer this time. And Boscovic can't spoil the party. What a rally. Oh, this is insane. Well, Boscovic has run out of steam here. She's not jumping at all. And Shershov just keep going. Senka with the kill. The most monumental rally we've had so far tonight. Well, coaches often feel that rallies like this will steal a team and take them further in the, uh, in the tie. And if any rally was going to do it, it's this rally. It just kept going back and forth, back and forth until finally Senka gets the pass and gets the ball away. Goodness me, that is an absolute leg burner, lung buster of a rally. And there's a couple of players down there feeling this. Boscovic certainly is. Senka, though, just ran and ran and ran. No off switch. Jurcic is in to serve. No, I'm wrong. Jurcic is on. But Nagajevic into the block. Ah, she's, she's played so well tonight. She knew how important that one was and she's just gone straight into Yasmin's block and so frustrated with herself. She can get past blocks like that in her sleep. So Yasmin out, Salih Hussain comes in. So this is serve and defence again. From another one of the backup wing spikers. Erkek's had a go, now Hussain. Good shot. Olivasova gave that the full treatment, that's for sure. And the 22 year old has done very, very well in this set. First season here. There's Sheshev. Signed from the club where she developed as a volleyball player, VK of Olomouc. Oh, that's unlucky. Good hands on that from the blocker. Delena, your cheek on in the middle. There she is, number 95. Nearly got as high as Navara's star player. Karakurt's 99, but not quite. And Ordovasova this time found wanting. And that's the problem at this level. As brilliant as these players are, it's that ability to just keep doing it. And that's a big ask for anybody. Antigua knows that, that that might be the problem point. And yet again, Vineska goes back to the player. It's a good, good touch. They keep it alive and put it away very well indeed. That's a good swing from Blagijevic. Now, I think as Asabashu have got three rotations to get through here. I think if they bring... Boscovic back into the front line at the crucial moment in this set. I think that's probably going to be good enough, but Shershov for these next four, three rotations have to score points. Well, there's one gone. Good swing from Hande. Nice take from Jackie Sal in the middle. Came in and absolutely pinned your cheek. Gave a, a free hit to Handy down the line past Varenska. Not, not a massive problem for Zazabashu as long as they keep siding out. So this is their second test. This is the second rotation that the visitors have got to get through. Yurchik will serve. system but on Kavert has to get the reuse couldn't get a swing on it gets a second go and this time slides it beautifully down the line that was a very accurate hit from the Russian recovered well got into a position well and then 
just cut it past that smaller block of Vineska. So two of those rotations gone. Boscovic will be back in the front line very soon. And then I think it's going to be tough for Sheshev to do anything from that point. Well, they're still turning the scoreboard over. Senka with a brutal hit. Absolutely cranks this. Lisa Boscovich on the way. He just took uh, evasive action there. Threw an arm out. Third side out then for Zasabashu. It's a good pass. And they've done it. Boscovich is back onto the front line. Four points for the Turkish club to get. Maya, the setter with the serve. Out. No touch. Sink uh, just miss hits it. And again, another young player who has been very, very good when she's got it right, but has also made just a couple of errors at key moments, and that was one of them. I wonder when the calmness would just begin to disappear and Antigua's not so calm anymore and it, it's frustration born out of the fact that his team were competing in this set. This was their opportunity to really cause us us some problems and take it to five and they, they've let the foot off the gas. They've, they've allowed those three rotations with Boscovich on the back line to go through very quickly and now Maya serving Boscovich front court. Three points will do it for Isar Sabashi. Rodovasova gets it off the hands and into the antenna. Well, the question from Veronkova about this one, but it's quite clearly, quite clearly off the block and into the antenna. I'm not sure what the Russian was asking the ref there. Here we go then. Side outs will do it for the team in orange. Here comes the first one. Brilliant hit. Well, they were loaded up again for the ball to go to Boscovic. And when it went to Voronkova, Shezhov just a bit flat-footed. And it was a free hit, really. Straight round the outside and down. Voronkova makes the play. It doesn't get any easier if she can put these jump serves in. It's a good hit. Great pass. Oh, that's beautiful volleyball. That's a warm-up hit from Senka. She's some player. Valenska with the feed. Fabulous pass off uh, Shivoska. And a beautiful hit. Oh, great control in the air. Gets it right this time, Senka. She goes back to serve. But remember, is that Sebastian? You just need two more side outs. The game's done. No. She should keep it alive. Blagojevic finds a hit, but Boscovic gets a piece of it. Oh, goodness me. Well, Veronica patrolled that to the line and then left it. She didn't get any calls to tell her to leave it. But she also didn't get a call to tell her it was in. And it's well in. Well, as well as in as a, a ball dropping on the line can be. But it's enough to force a timeout from coach Ferhad Akbar. Watch the arm of Senka. She shows the position of serve. OK, Senka is big at defense. Blagojevic big at block. Number 98 will be slow for both sides, 95, OK? So zone 6 and line is good. One moment. She's trying to reset his players' minds here. He reset, talking about what's going to happen if it's got into transition. So he's, he's expecting Cheshev to maybe make the defensive play here. Where does Maya go? I think we all know where she's probably going to go. Boscovic, his favourite here. Gets it. Puts it away. And that's why she's favourite to get that set. One point required then. And the Tigers of Ezaz Sebastiu have done the job here. And a 3-1 victory is good.
it will certainly set them up nicely for the second leg in Istanbul. Three match points then. Yasemin to serve. Good pass. And a very, very good hit from Ovasova. She has been impressive since she's come on in this fourth set. Belts it past the block and past Meyer. Two match points remain. Ovasova to serve. Zasabash, you need a side out. Meyer fires it to Boscovich again, and Boscovich has missed. Well, some inquiries there from the Azazabashi players about a touch. I think we might see a challenge used in lieu of a, uh, a timeout. And if you've got one in the bank, you might as well call it at this stage just to have a look at it. And the man again in the grey, just behind our video referees, is absolutely certain that he's got the decision right. No touch. It's out. And Boscovich, once again, finding like many players that the toughest point to win is very often that last point. And Shershuv are still in the tie. All of a server to serve. Is that Sebastian you need a point? Good pass. The set to Jack Kisal is not put away. Goes wide to Handy. Oh, magic defence from Shigvaska. And they've still got the play. Ovasova off the hands and away. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And Shetshuf are still in this match. What a comeback. Three match points gone. And a chance now for the home side to ask the question, to force a fifth. OK, pass from Varankova. Boskovic is blocked. Good tidy up. Boskovic gets it again. Gets it past the block again. Amazing defence from Ferenska. Oh, and again. And this time can't get it in play. Clipped off her arms and hit her right under the chin. They are horrible. That'll be painful to chew for a week. There's the first defence. Superb on Boscovich. And Maya just had to give it to her again. And that's come straight up her arms and whacked her in the face. Fourth match point appears for Izasabashu straight into the net. Would you believe it? Oh, that's horrible. And you will, I'm sure, have noticed that Boscovich is back line. 25 all, the crowd going mad. Good pass. Out of the back line, Boscovich has missed it. She's determined that this has touched the block. Absolutely determined. And Fad Akbash is going to risk his second video challenge and if this is wrong it means that Azar Sebastian have no challenges left in this set and that could get interesting now watch the man in the grey top right hand corner of your picture he seems to be the overall oh it's a touch he's told us he's told us this will be Azar Sebastian's point there you go it's the index finger of the left hand on your cheek more importantly for Ezar Savashu, it is a fifth match point. My goodness me, they've been made to uh, quake a bit here at the end of the game, if it is the end of the game. Sheshuf can still win this match. Got to win this point first. Oh, good dig from Singe. Boscovic out of system, blocked, blocked beautifully. Yurchik has made a difference there. She touched the ball last time. She's touched it again, but this time touched it straight into the floor. Five match points go begging. No set points yet for Sheshuf. Your chick to serve. Simje, good pass. Wide to Vodonkova. Had to reach high to get that. Gets a second swing at it and puts it down. That is unlucky for the team in pink. Really unlucky. Out of all the places that ball could have bounced, bouncing straight back into the Russians' window, 
was just the wrong place for it to go. Well, lively enough to get it down on the floor. Match point number six arrives. Jack Kisata serve. Deep. Good pass from Blagojevic. It's wide. Oh, no. Cenk has missed it. She's played so well tonight, but on that occasion, it was one play too many. And match point number six is taken. Is that Sebastian Dinovic, Istanbul? have beaten Developres Shershov by three sets to one, but that was a very, very tight finish indeed. Well played, both teams uh, contributed well to the spectacle in the end. And I have to say that that comeback at the end there from Shershov was excellent. Well, Tiana Boscovic, not for the first time, certainly won't be the last. He's our MVP. So Boscovic was the hammer that just kept hammering away. And in the end, it was just a bit too much for Shershov. So the Tigers get the job done by three sets to one. But that was a toughie in the, uh, the final set, 28-26 was the final set score for a 30-minute set. Entertaining stuff. 25-19, 22-25, 25-16, 28-26. A hard-fought three sets to one victory, but it sets things up very nicely for Rezaz Sebastian Istanbul to take things over the line at home next week and propel themselves into the CV Champions League final four. Well, plenty of terrific volleyball out there on the uh, court to watch tonight. That was a real pleasure. Shershoff will come away from the match feeling just a little frustrated that those real purple patches of form that caused his Asabashi so much trouble couldn't be repeated often enough. And when the big points came, they often had the answers, but just not quite in the end on that sixth match point. Exactly. What do you think was the most important from this uh, fourth set? The patient, quality of the uh, game, or maybe something else? Experience? Uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that it wasn't the best volleyball from our side. I think that we can and we have to play much better. But also our opponents were great today. And we heard that it's really difficult to play here in Jashov. So today uh, I could see it. They had amazing support from their fans, but they are also a great team. Uh, I think our energy was good. This is important. In second set, uh, we were not aggressive and we didn't have energy. But after in uh, third set, it was much better. And end of this set, uh, it was really tough. But and, and we did uh, some mistakes that we should not. I'm starting from myself. But I really hope that in, uh, in Istanbul, uh, we will show a better game. Thank you so much and congratulations. Very good player, the captain of Ezar Subashu and always gives a very good interview as well. And the skipper says they must do better and she's probably right. So if we're going to be a test in Istanbul next week and this is our Subashu team will be hoping that in front of the home fans they can find the kind of form and the kind of rhythm that they need to get this job done. They are one step closer to the final four. As our Subashu and they've just got to get that final part of the jigsaw in place next week. Well, some good performances out on the floor from uh, both sides. Handy and Yasmin had good games along with uh, Boscovic. Maya Ogjanovic was a, a usual brilliant best. And then on the other side of the net, I thought Vernowski had a very good game. The setter for Shershov. And then uh, very good work from Kalandadze 
um, from Blagojevic, the two left side players, they really kept their team in that match. But in the end, a very impressive win for Ezaz Sebastian. Well, that's all from us here in Rishov, uh, the Padromi Arena. Thanks for your company here on Eurovolley TV for the last couple of hours. It's a 3-1 victory to the Tigers of Ezaz Sebastian. They're looking good for a place in the final four. This game will be decided next week in leg two in Istanbul, where Shashov will be hoping to turn the tables. But for the moment, Ezaz Sebastian in control. Thanks for watching. From me, Simon Golding. I'll say goodbye and I'll see you again very soon.